start this particular uh, topic financial management financial analysis which is an important part of your project formulation stage and it uh, covers the most of the crucial you know component of any particular uh, project so when we talk about that financial analysis we must understand the finance we are not talking about the capital management financial analysis simply says that we talk about finance and finance is a very important topic there is a separate topic financial management in coming unit we will be taking that financial management in very length and breadth but as a part of project management as a part of project formulation stage financial analysis becomes very crucial in order to understand that how and in what manner you calculate the costing you make estimates you make budget and then to fulfill that costing estimate or budget how you manage that capital from uh, some source because this source is very important say for example sometime it happens that you require some x amount of money for a activity right so when you calculate the estimate for a activity because it is non repetitive if then you will forecast that you know estimate or the budget for that and if you go for arranging a money through some source say for example you ask to your friend to invest into your a activity then it will become very important to analyze that when your activity will give this money back whether you will be able to give that money back to your friend or not or your friend will give you money at the right time when you require money for a activity so this kind of analysis is very important to understand and if this kind of coordination is not looked into then it may become a problem for project delays or the project malfunctioning or the project ineffectiveness and that is why i am having concern over the financial analysis in this project formulation stage why at all we need why financial analysis see very important thing for any particular project whenever you submit your project to you formulate your report you submit your project report to any government body or any bank or any financial institution or any university any incubation center or innovation center or accelerator or the investor then the very first question comes that have you analyzed that what is the profitability project profitability project profitability simply means that how much money you need for a activity how much this much money you will require from this source what is the cost of that you know sourcing that money and what is the return from a activity so when we talk about that activity wise a activity you look at profitability b activity you look at profitability c activity you look at profitability or you look at the aspect so when you analyze this activity wise then it is called activity based costing or activity based financial analysis so my point is that we need financial analysis just to understand whether the project is profitable or not if project is profitable so after what time period after what amount of investment this project will start giving you profit this financial analysis is important to understand that to what extent the project is cost effectiveness now cost effective means what is the cost of investment sourcing and what is the return so whether your project is cost effective or not finally when you analyze financial analysis then you can come to know that your project is cost effective or not 
now these two th points are very uh, much uh, very much debatable a project <coughs> which may be profitable but may not be cost effective a project which is which is profitable may not be cost effective so a project may be profitable as well as cost effective so you need to understand you need to analyze this you know financial analysis i am not saying that investment analysis i am saying financial analysis that financial means finance finance means sourcing money sourcing money and using in activity this financial analysis is also important to understand that if you are sourcing x amount of money from some source you are taking from fan you are investing in a activity right so if you invest this activity instead of a if you invest in b project or b activity then what is the opportunity that you can gain relative opportunity relative return so you must understand the alternate opportunity for investment as compared to the project present project or project activity so this thing is very important similarly you must analyze this financial project keeping in view the prospective investor that means obviously you give to this project report an analysis outcome in your project and you show to banks also you show to your uh, government also you show to uh, all other funding agencies also so prospective investor probable investor must be interested in knowing your profitability your cost effectiveness your you know overall calculations overall analysis and if investor see any current any potential then investor will invest in your project so this analysis is very important if you have not analyzed this thing and investor ask some question to you then it will become very difficult to answer it and investor will not be interested to invest in another thing is that to learn the sustainability of the project financial analysis tells tells you how long how you know what is the level of sustainability of your project especially financial sustainability if you require source of money so what is your break even to what extent you need money to be invested at what point you would start becoming self dependent or independent you don't need any external input and when you start giving revenue so whether your project is financially sustainable or not sustainability of the project or financial sustainability means your source of funding your source of capital is continuous reliable cost effective and the investment in project is giving return so you must understand these issues because these issues are very crucial financial analysis when you do financial analysis it need to understand the estimate of costing say for example in formulation we have discussed this thing that when you start this project formulation and you define the activities that a activity will uh, you know follow b activity will follow c activity or you know that the, what is the network and then you analyze it and then you come to know that there are a b c d e f g h i activities now each activity requires some money to be performed now in totality you estimate the costing costing of manpower costing of material costing of uh, method costing of technology costing of uh, machine costing of method so when you analyze these things then this estimate is very important to understand and to understand the alternate option means say for example you say that if we will hire the local laborer from local kanpur market so we need to pay 400 rupees 
per day right now alternate option may be that if you hire a person from some rural area and give a stay in your premises may be that your costing of the manpower or the laborer comes down to 300 usually you have you must have seen that in case of you know long projects builders they hire laborers or contract basis and they give uh, the you know living place also and they manage all other things so that in bulk they get a laborer less than the market rate 300 rupees or 350 rupees something like that this is something which is called alternate costing so you must you know you you in analysis when you analyze it you come to know the alternate of you come to know about the estimate total estimate of costing and this financial analysis helps you to search in suitable source of finance say for example if you hire a machine so whether hiring a machine is beneficial or purchasing a machine is beneficial now purchasing machine is beneficial then new machine or old machine now then you come to know that if you purchase old machine you need some x amount now to manage this x amount from where to manage this x amount whether you choose source as a bank you take this x amount from bank you take this x amount from your friend or my point is that in financial analysis you come to know about the suitable source of finance and also the alternate of source alternate of source means if you purchase from bank if you take loan from bank what would be the profit loss pro and cons and if you invest from your own pocket what are the pro and cons so you will be in position to analyze it usually when we do our homely projects or normal personal projects our brain is very much you know active in doing all these things even if you have to go from west campus to east campus then you decide that if you'll go by bike this will be like this if you'll go by you know institute bus so they will be charging some thousands of rupees per month and annual charge would be this now alternate source of you know costing you calculate that if you use your bike it will be hardly using thousand rupees uh, per month whereas the hbti may be charging more than that so in that case sometime you you also look at those things so to manage those sources of fund finance you may have some you know sometime you take from father sometime you uh, take tuitions if you don't have a you know sufficient backup of you know, strong family backup then there are students who are taking tuitions and then they are managing their uh, routine transportation cost tempo cost or bike cost or petrol cost or even uh, you know institution fees so you must understand about the alternate option of sources source of finance we need financial analysis need to know the alternate opportunity for investment that means we have discussed this point that if you invest in a project what is the benefit in b project what is the benefit in c project what is the benefit and obviously it is very important for prospective investor financial analysis based on the estimate of costing is very important to understand how to estimate how to forecast say for example an activity which is uh, repetitive nature right if it is repetitive nature so your methodology your activity would be called as the non probability you know activity non probability means you you can repeat it and you can calculate exact costing right and then you can go with the cpm method and all those you can determine the activities you can determine the critical path activities on critical path and then on those activities you quantify them now quantify is one thing say for example a activity requires 10 minutes now in 10 minutes you have to perform this job so how many 
you know people you need how many machines you need how much raw material you need right what technology you need so it is quantification now once you quantify it then you forecast the cost associated with each activity now this forecasting is very important what method you use in forecasting that is very crucial say for example when you forecast based on the past data right past industry data if the activity is repetitive nature then you can use past data to forecast that yes in past uh, in uh, in in uh, dash 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 industry this activity you know is costing this much amount so we will also keep this this much amount so you forecast it another may be that you are forecasting you use some forecasting techniques which are very common and this overall cost estimate depends on the what technology what method what mechanism you are using for forecasting this cost say for example i say you have to go to uh, you know america from india now forecast what would be the total cost of moving from india to america so you may use you may ask someone who has already traveled and says that you know airlines cost is this and this cost is this daily routine cost is this and this this is you can add that it will come some around 12 lakh rupees or another method may be that instead of asking to your friend for you know who is who is already a user you can simply calculate break this activity into small activities say for example airlines cost you can take from ticket then uh, daily uh, you know requirement you need to uh, you know uh, travel for 24 hours so you in 24 hours you need this you need this you need this uh, there is a halt in between so on a halt you need some uh, rest time and then for that you need this much cost so you can calculate this cost this cost may be different third option may be that you can take this uh, forecasting of the cost from any travel agent so if you take from travel agent it will be the highest cost they will be calculating or sometime it may be you know even lower because they are calculating in bulk because the uh, you know travel planner they organize the event in you know groups so cost comes down a little bit so my point is that this forecasting is very important say for example you say that we will uh, develop uh, prototype right now this prototype development is one activity where you may say that you will develop your prototype on yourself sometimes you say that you will get this prototype developed by some incubator say for example you go to iit and you take help of iits on paid basis and they develop this so this cost depends what method you are adapting for the particular activity and then you calculate the total that is why i say it is not total cost it is estimation of the total project costing so once this estimate that yes project a will cost approximately 1 lakh rupees initially along with alternate of costing alternate of costing means we have given example of manpower that if you hire directly from labor market you will be pay, you will require to pay 400 rupees and if you take it in bulk you may be having 300 rupees or 350 rupees so you must put estimation of the total project costing with alternate costing that if we take labor from this market our cost will be this if we'll take a market labor from direct market our cost will be this and you need to put the pro and cons now the project funding you need to understand that from where you will manage this project costing so project funding who will fund who will invest who will give you money sources of fund is very important whether you will take from bank you will take from you know friend you will take from you know government you will take from a university a grant or you know it depends that what is the source of funding for your prototyping sometimes you get seed capital sometimes some angel investment comes and you get some angel uh, investor who is investing in your prototype 
so who is the source of fund what is the cost of sourcing that fund from that source cost of sourcing fund means say for example i i can uh, give you example of this say for example in rural areas you know that money lenders are very very common in villages suppose a farmer goes to money lender and ask for uh, 50000 rupees for farming for you know uh, seeding uh, the new crop into you know field and uh, farmer need 50000 rupees farmer goes to money lender ask money lender to give you give me 50000 rupees now if money lender gives 50000 rupees without asking any question without asking any question money lender says okay this is 50000 rupees you take it can you sense the cost of that sourcing 50000 rupees from money lender because if you avail money first without knowing terms and conditions the cost of sourcing fund may not be you know uh, in your control usually in villages why money lender gives money free hand because they know it that after that they will be having the full control on their field they will take their uh, you know kasra khatoni or paper of their land and then they will start calculating with their own interest rates two taka per month or something like that and it will you know conclude to 24 taka per year uh, annum or 30 percent per annum something like that which is beyond the reach of the uh, return of the farmer or sometime money lender may give you 50000 rupees with the hidden agenda that he will uh, you know marry his uh, you know mental son to your daughter or uh, his mental daughter to son of farmer see you you never know what is the cost you are going to pay say for example you take a tempo uh, you know taxi auto from railway station to come to your hostel and if auto uh, auto man simply says that okay please sit and we'll go to hostel and you if you do not ask about the amount rent at the time at the station then in hostel he may ask you for 200 rupees 300 rupees and then he'll be having edge over your bargaining but if you ask the costing at railway station you are having edge you can manage 150 rupees or sometime you may say that okay if if, if you if you uh, provide me at 100 rupees then i'll go so my point is that you you must understand the cost of sourcing fund because when you make a startup when you develop any new project there are people with their hidden agenda they will come in form of angel investor but after some time you will come to know that cost you too much too much means sometime you lose your company itself so it is very difficult to you know sourcing must be very clear we will discuss this point uh, in uh, investment financial uh, management uh, next unit in very detail now forecasting of the return since if it is a repetitive nature you can forecast it very easily based on the past data but if it is something like you know uh, you know nasa project or uh, you know unesco satellite which is non repetitive type of you know research or project then forecasting become a little bit you know tricky and technical and then forecasting the return is uh, you know if you want to understand the non repetitive nature of that forecasting of that uh, you can understand that recently someone uh, some company launched that uh, you know start selling the uh, you know you know satellite uh, you know tourism 
one company which I came to know that uh, was offering satellite tourism. Now problem is again that it is non-repetitive. Forecasting is very difficult. And that is why it becomes very difficult to identify the alternate source of investment. You know, when you talk about alternate source of investment, again I say that instead of choosing, you know, one activity, what is the alternate source where you can invest and get more money, more, more return? So this financial analysis, we will take detailed study on financial management in financial management topic. So my point in today's lecture was to make you learn that when you are making estimate on a project and when you are calculating the sources of fund, you must be very clear that what at all you are doing and you must be very clear to analyze each and every costing, forecasting and then activities, determination of you know, cost associated with each investment, source of fund, alternate source of fund, alternate source of investment. So all these points are very important, very crucial to understand. So this is all about on the small topic of financial in, uh, analysis. In more detail, you will get this uh, financial management analysis in uh, coming days with the financial management topic that will require three to four lectures at least and we will discuss in a very length and breadth. So this is all about.